Hey everybody, it's Brandon Soriano here in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Here in the newly reorganized back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Oh. I don't know if you can tell from that angle. I don't think they can tell. But, uh, <laughs> but it looks great back here, to take my word for it. Um, we are back for another episode of Guitar of the Day, and today's Friday. That means it's Flat Top Friday. Woo! Oh yeah, it's acoustic day here at Norm's. And uh, we got one in that I'm so excited about. This thing is just killer. Quick plug, my band Portabelli has a gig tonight at Hotel Cafe. Uh, doors open at nine and we're the first band on. So if you're in the LA area, swing on by. It's in a couple hours <laughs> from when you're seeing this. <laughs> Today's guitar from 2019 is a Martin Custom Shop Ditson. Oh. I know. This is so crazy, man. And this is not any regular Ditson. This is a very special Ditson. Um, you might even be asking yourself, what is a Ditson? I've never heard of that. Um, so here's the quick story. Way back in like the late 1920s, guitars at the time were mostly pretty much all very small body parlor guitars, as we would call them. And in the late 20s, uh, Martin ended up teaming up with Ditson, Oliver Ditson Company, uh, to make a larger body guitar. Uh, and they that's sort of when they pioneered the name Dreadnought, which was named after a big ship of the day, a big Dreadnought ship. Um, so Martin didn't put those guitars under their name, even though, as I understand it, they were the ones manufacturing the guitars. Instead, it said Ditson, it said Oliver Ditson Co. Um, those guitars were the D1 and the D2, which eventually turned into the Martin D18 and the D28. Uh, so that was by like early to mid 30s that they transitioned over to Martin. So for the first few years, late 20s, early 30s, it was uh, Ditson guitars. The whole thing with these, obviously the body is massive. Um, on this being a, a reissue, we're gonna get some vintage appointments. So this is a pyramid bridge where you get pyramids on the sides here. And this is a pointed pyramid bridge. Get that little point down there. Love the look of that. Um, Martin enthusiasts might be familiar with uh, Shade Top, which is Martin's name for a sunburst guitar. This looks vaguely like that, but it's actually not. This isn't a Shade Top. This is what they call the Ditson Toner top. So this is a dark toner on a solid Sitka spruce top. This is solid Sitka spruce. Um, we're just going to look at the front first and then I'll flip it over because there's kind of a surprise. Uh, we're looking at an ebony fingerboard. There's a little nice inlays there. This is a bound fingerboard. The nut width on this is one and three quarters, 1.75. So it's a nice wide nut, really great for finger picking. Um, this is, as you may have noticed, a slotted headstock, classical style, slots, uh, pegs on the side. And that goes hand in hand with the fact that it's a 12 fret guitar instead of a 14 fret guitar. So when you hear 12 fret or 14 fret, uh, they're referring to where the top of the body, the upper bout of the body, meets the neck. And on this example, it meets at the 12 fret. The scale length is the same. This is like 25.4 inches. Um, so if you were to do the modern thing, 14 fret, you would basically take the top of the body and you would move it down to right there. So when you have a 12 fret guitar, you get more body. Um, this whole upper bout, you might notice, is longer than what you're used to seeing on a traditional uh, modern 14 fret dreadnought. And because of that, the sound is huge. There's so much room inside this guitar for sound to bounce around and make its way out of the sound hole. Really excellent. So as we turn this over, this is the fun part. Are you ready? The back and sides of this guitar are... Drum roll, Jen. I don't have a drum. She doesn't have a drum roll. <laughs> Black walnut. Oh. Black walnut. When was the last time you saw an acoustic guitar with black walnut back and sides? It's really nice. Yeah, this thing is so cool, man. A very unique wood choice with an awesome sound. Um, and you just don't see this all that often. It's a great cut. Show you from a bunch of different angles. It's super chatoyant. It's my fancy word of the day. Uh, chatoyant. <laughs> yeah. As you move it around, it, it like changes. It's very three-dimensional. You start seeing different sides of the wood grain come about and uh, different streaks through it. It's really gorgeous. So this guitar is from 2019. It's essentially uh, very close to new condition. Uh, the private seller who had it before us took great care of it. And uh, this is a mahogany neck on the back. Speaking of the neck real fast before we play it, this is a, as I mentioned, a wide nut, but it's a V-profile neck. So it's a pretty vintage feeling neck. 
for me personally, I love that. Uh, I feel like I can finger pick really easily on a guitar like this. The V kind of makes a good pivot for your thumb and the wide nut gives you a lot of string space uh, for your fingers. So, you know, we're gonna go ahead and, and do this one. It has a plug in it too. So I'm gonna no. have to take it out front after and do a little- Oh, are version. we? Okay. Gonna have to, sorry, Jen. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, look at this case. Woo! Burgundy, a little wine red interior. We got the certificates and whatnot. Buy the guitar and you can read them. <laughs> um, cool. <sighs> Great sound on this guitar. So I'll just start with some big open strumming uh, because I think it really shines with that stuff. After I tune it. Hopefully that's better. Here we go.
thing is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> sounds amazing. Man, this thing sounds rad, man. I could just play this all day. Um, so let's play it more. I'm gonna take it out front. Let's, let's do it go. <laughs> All right, here we are out front, and I've got the Ditson Custom Shop plugged into this trainer amp over here. It's an acoustic amp. This thing sounds great plugged in, uh, so let's just go for it. Here's a tune. Thing sounds great plugged in and unplugged. There you have it from 2019. Isn't this killer, man? It's like a great Martin. It's a great Martin from 2019 Custom Shop Ditson. Uh, this thing is absolutely rad. Black walnut back and sides. Check this guitar out and all of our other guitars online normansrareguitars.com, reverb.com, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, so on and so forth. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Bye.